am so jealous of Earl right now. GAC invited us to a track day and I wasn't available. Jack wasn't available either. So, we sent Earl to the track. God help us. Hey! What? Thankfully, he came back alive and he came back with some awesome shots of the GAC MPOW in action. I'm also jealous that he was able to see everything he saw and drive everything he got to in China as well. Right off the back of the China trip, which the links are somewhere down below if you want to see, and with a stint with the MPOW R in GAC's hometown, we sent him to drive the normal MPOW on the Batangas racing circuit. Now, given his experience with driving the MPOW R and the standard MPOW, he had this to say. The R featured a lot more power. In fact, shoehorning in the GS8's 2-liter engine into a sedan is a stroke of genius once you get to drive it. However, with heightened expectations, I was still not disappointed with the standard MPOW. Mind you, much of what makes the car exciting to drive is still in the standard model, and the R is simply an extension of the standard that GAC has set with its sporty sedan. Handling was similar, with the R being a tinge more exciting to drive and throw into corners. The main difference is the 1.5 liter versus the 2 liter. The 1.5 turbo will run out of puff quicker than the MPOW R's 2 liter, but it's no little pig in the story. Remember, we're talking about a car with 174 horses and 270 newton meters of torque here. What's also impressive is the safety systems, which Earl said balances driving excitement and safety on a knife's edge. The system is provided by Bosch, and the GAC MPOW uses the system to manage traction, making sure that rubber sticks and also manages the brakes even if someone decides to put linoleum and soap on the road. Or is it linoleum? It's one of those things. Instead of hearing me go on about that, here's a little montage of the action that transpired during the track day. Now, I cannot wait to get the MPOW in its top-of-the-line trim on an episode of Behind the Wheel. I cannot wait to actually experience what Earl's been rambling on about. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for that. Stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you soon.